Hey friends, thank you for joining us for another episode of Froggy Fridays. So far, we have learned that frog stands for fats, rags, oils, and grease, and we dove deeper into how flushable wipes aren't so flushable after all. This week, we are going to look at the impact of these items on your sewer system and your wallet. Besides blocking the pipes in your personal plumbing, these create costly, inconvenient, hazardous, and smelly issues to our public system and in our community. Let's hear from someone helping to manage this issue at our sewer treatment plants, which is where all of the county sewer flows to. The biggest issue we see is definitely in the collection system, which is a, uh, that's how the wastewater is transported from you know, your house to, to the plant. And uh, as it comes here, it combines with more and more people and gets to be more and more flow. But the biggest problem we see is when the, the mostly the flushable wipes uh, that are flush that shouldn't be, when they combine with uh, the fats and, and oil and grease, it kind of creates this kind of big blob of gooey cement. Before the sewage reaches our treatment facilities, it first passes through pump stations located throughout our service area, which help to keep the flow moving. From a county standpoint, pump stations and manholes see the biggest impact from frog. Pumps, they get bound up and clogged, break the pumps, wear the pumps out. Uh, we've got valves that get clogged. It, it just causes a big strain on the whole system. Let's take a look at some of these pump issues. For those of you not on county sewer, don't think you're in the clear to flush wipes either. They're going to get into your septic system, and if unfortunately they get into the outlet baffled and get into your drain fields, nothing is going to go from the septic to the drain field, and then where do you think it's going to end up? Back into your house. A typical service call to clear a drain, if it's a main line, it ranges from 400 to thousands depending on the damage. If it's a lateral line like a kitchen sink or a bathroom sink, that usually starts at about 275 and goes up from there. It's easy to forget about our sewer infrastructure, but now you've seen a glimpse of the larger impact each of us has on our shared system from what choices we make at home each day. And aren't we incredibly thankful for our collections department and local plumbers who are willing to maintain our system and fix these types of problems? I know I am. With every clog comes a cost. Listen to this segment about the cost of these problems to our county and residents. A normal pump station should be operating the neighborhood cost of 10 to 20 grand a year. But with the addition of rags clogging pumps, grease also impacting the system, the cost of sewer lift stations goes up from forty to $60,000 a year to maintain the pumps, keep them unclogged. We're having to call people from their homes late at night to come and unclog different pumps. And then we have to pay to rehab those. Wow, who knew that each of us pouring a little grease down the drain and flushing a few wipes would create such an expensive and messy issue. This has been eye-opening for me, and I hope it has been for you all as well. Well, four videos down and two more to go. I hope you all are learning as much as I am. Join us next week for some special tips to manage your frog. And remember, frog clogs. <laughs>